Please, Fuck a today's no episode. Was produced. Was produced. Shout out to Going Global. Thank you for having me, gang. For sure, for sure. They've been trying to get me over here for a second. All the sinuses and pollen in the air. <laughs> Had me out of commission for a few, but I'm here, man. I'm ready to talk. Speaking on the pollen and all that, man. We talked. You hear me? You said you was in the sauna. How did it fit with your mental and for how you operate outside of music? You got time to, you know, sit in the sauna. I ain't sitting in the song. They got the bikes and shit. And anybody <laughs> out there know how it works is, I highly recommend it, man. That's a, a awesome way to just detox mm. and just sweat it all out, man. Get it all out. Let it all out. Right, right. Um, yeah. It's definitely 132 degrees in there. So be hydrated and just take care of yourself, man. I, 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 I preach that. We eat crazy. We're from New Orleans, you feel me? We from New Orleans. The food is better than and I don't give a fuck what you read, what you hear. No, no, we real. got it. No, you hear me? Because I seen we wasn't even top ten on the food. They look like... fucking lie. Everywhere I go, I lose weight. Yeah. <laughs> you hear me? I'm not eating. Like <laughs> it's so for sure. Everywhere. It's no, so for sure. For real. But yeah, man, we got the green eyed monster here with a monster off. You hear me? Double going global, baby. We here. You feel me? We ain't going nowhere else. You feel me? But nah, man. You gonna dive into the, the track man. I know you got a few highlight features on it. Sure. You know what I mean? Talking about the relationship with King Dilla, we had him on here earlier. That's my boy, man. Talking about y'all relationship since. You know what I mean? You feel me? We used to line up at the same school. Dilla, they used to line us up by grade. Dilla used to be a few lines over, but. I just always fuck with him, like, we level-headed, still level-headed. That's the type of people I need around me. Morals, values, all that shit means something to me, man. Can't go broke, can't go back. It's BST to leave, man. Feel yeah. 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 That's my boy. Uh, I had Rain Guts on that thing. Mm-hmm. Rain Guts, another one. Good sense. I fuck with everything about Rain. Family, man. Get busy out here, man. And uh, you already know, gotta, 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 gotta. That's my boy. Gotta be in some wide on the monster. I grew up to that, man. Like, yeah. fuck with that. So when he when I reached out to him uh-huh. and he blessed me, I saw him like just just coming across my page a few times uh-huh. and liking a few shits. And I was like, man, look, that's. So get some solidified, like, yeah. send me an email ASAP. That's, that's how that shit need to be, man. A lot of niggas be trying to hold a torch and just die with it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? You know what I mean? You were saying earlier, you, you was with, um, we got the DJ, that, um, um, what's his name? Drummer Boy. Yeah, Drummer Boy. Drummer Boy. I didn't want to say Burner Boy. <laughs> Yeah, Drummer yeah, boy, yeah, need to link over, burn the boy, you know, we got them hits, knock them bitches out the park, but Drummer boy, that's another relationship I just built going back and forth to Atlanta and shit. 
Um, I met him through a camera, man. Mm. And we just been tight. He gave me advice and shit like that. I got beats from the, the Grammy Award winning Chasing Cash, man. That's my brother for life, man. That's, that's, that's my that's brother for life. If you don't know, he the man that's behind some of the, as far as the pussycat dogs, mm-hmm. as far as like his reach is just crazy. Like, uh, Bane and Eminem dropped the world. Like, I trust his inner, I trust every. That's a godfather to my son. Mm-hmm. That's my man, man. Hey, uh, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. yeah um, you influence and love, you like you spoke on the torture. Yeah, you know I mean? and how you how you operate, with, how you move, and how you teach others with the music and shit. Like, so I don't know what that how that felt going into this project right here. Like you say Halloween, you know what I'm saying? So Yeah, I just I just went I I really just wanted to be a little bit more seasonal with everything and just catch holidays or or whatever. It just the the sounds and shit that I was building around it just had a real Halloween texture. Like you know what I'm saying? It was a real spook thrill from top to bottom. Like, it feel so like a roller coaster ride. Yeah, you feel you hit a mind start coming straight at you in 3D. Like, that's where we are. So everything just played out. Most of these records I had, you know, I just really been focusing on being a better parent, mm-hmm. being a better listener, and a better provider mm-hmm. on the real side of life. Like, I, it's shit beautiful. Everything that music could do for you, but I find every bit of peace in my house, man. Mm-hmm. Right? You feel me? For real, for real. Okay. For real, for real. Nice, Everything yeah. come after that. Like. Uh-huh. <laughs> Everything. No, yeah, that's why I guess it. Kids will do it to you, man. Okay? Whenever y'all decide, I don't know if y'all do uh, have yeah, kids yeah. yet, but the shit gonna change. A lot of niggas say it change. Like, a lot of niggas, that shit change you for the better, man. Like, you get to really see what this shit about. You get to see what you need to eliminate. You get to see, you get to see what you need to add fire to. Mm-hmm. And you get that. What's your good to you? really like the middle. I'm a proud pack. Thanks, you heard me? <laughs> <laughs> you heard me? Yeah, no, man. That's sure. That's the best way to make sure the next generation come up better. For sure, for yeah, sure. Man, that's really how we go blow. For sure. For sure. Yeah, man. What? Yeah, you know, talk about these tracks, though. Come on, let's get to it. Yeah, man, I know you got the, you got the strung out. That one grabbed me, that one grabbed me for sure. When I was yeah. in my head, when that bitch behind these times, I ain't gonna, as soon as I first heard it. That bitch yeah, like a, yeah, I was talking about that one. Like a trippy vibe. My, uh, my cousin actually made that beat, J-Red. Mm-hmm. Shout out, to, shout out to Jay, man. Yeah. That's my boy. It's, uh, it was fun. That bitch, that bitch was just fun. Yeah. As soon as I, as soon as he played it for me, like the name of the beat was like, I need, I need that blunt. Mm-hmm. That bitch was just trippy. It was different. So I just went on there and I just lashed out, just laid it out. Thank you. I'm proud of my homie changed his life. He ain't selling no dope in the middle. <laughs> I'm proud of you, nigga. You know who you are. You heard me? I'm proud of you. Yeah, um, like I, I was saying, though, the, um, the intro coming on with the steps. Yeah, that, that was that made you say like set the tempo for it and like let me talk to him. I made you feel your like I said that felt like me let me talk to him, let me show him like set the I'm tone. Like this, yeah, like, you ain't just get worried when you cut uh-huh. this bitch on you you getting introduced to a realm. I'm I'm bringing you, I'm dragging you. <laughs> I'm dragging, no I said in like, my world like, get, and my producers get. And shit was arguing me down, like, it's too much. People attention span too short. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm. this is not about them. Mm-hmm. Bottom line, at the beginning of the day, mm-hmm. it's not about them. It's about the how I want them to the feel. Day. You feel me? I want them how, the it's how I want them to feel. And I wanted to bring you into a different set in your mind. It's kind of like audio cinema. Mm. You feel me? Like, I wanted this exactly, shit to feel exactly. different than just, I could have went on that bitch and rapped a million bars. 
Like, I ain't go over two minutes. Like, yeah, three. yeah. Everything shut. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? For sure. For sure. Yeah. You still feel like you got a whole lot within 34 minutes, but that's what it is. Yeah, People attention spans went from a minute and 32 seconds, bro, to. Oh, 15 or some shit. Eight, eight seconds is like the new attention span of people, bro. People, not so, even kids. Hey, you gotta dumb it down, bro. Yeah. You got a new rapper dropping every, feel like every fucking millisecond. No, you feel me? So, I could, I could admit at my own fault that, you know what I'm saying? I'd be too caught up in my own life mm-hmm. to cater to. Time, to cater to, to yeah, to, to loyal supporters. I owe y'all way more, mm. and y'all gonna get way more. I guarantee you that. Yeah, yeah. I never like folks. Shit, shit. You know what I mean? We gonna find that balance next time. Shit, shit. Next time we can keep pushing. Shit, shit. So that's the first track in the nutshell. I just wanted to bring y'all somewhere else. Let's go and go, man. We up here. You hear me? You lie, my style, my style. Lie, I just started my voice memos. Yeah, <laughs> you hear me? My yeah, head man. all over the place. Huh? I don't look like no poop out on camera. Huh? Yeah, you straight? You straight? I might gotta go back to the back, me. On this. <laughs> but yeah, man. You gonna flip your head like Reggie? No, I ain't having to take your time. <laughs> you gonna cut that bit, bit head gonna be <laughs> sideways, like Ti, little baby type shit. Possibly. But yeah, but you hear me? I appreciate you sliding through the studio, man. Yeah, you already know, man. You hear me? I linked up with Fletch at uh, Kendall Bang's video shoot. Mm-hmm. I told him I need to come up here, man. What's Seeing that? D-Lo interview. Facts. Man, I gotta come tap in with y'all for sure. Facts, man. Facts, man. That's what's in, man. Well, any yeah. other New Orleans artists, man, y'all tap in with Going Global, man. They just trying to help us. Nah, for the real. Fact. For sure. Try to get y'all going global. Pay them people, global. man. Pay the rate. <laughs> Ain't shit for That's free. Up. That's up. Niggas, niggas, niggas paying two hundred dollars a line to go to sleep every night. Oh. <laughs> niggas paying. <laughs> niggas paying. A hundred dollars a seven for Zaza. That's <laughs> him. But don't worry, best. Come yeah, on, man. To go global. Come Put on, some down on your crap, man. Make it make sense. What you really want? Yeah, you know I mean? No, nigga. <laughs> I'm for shit, man. Yeah, I, man. Facts, I man. told y'all, y'all can ask me whatever. I'm an open book. Yeah, let me speak on that. So, how you looking at the rap scene in New Orleans saying that? It's beautiful. Uh, besides that, mm-hmm. I feel like everybody who's doing what they're supposed to do, doing what they're supposed to do. Shout out to everybody, man. Shout out to Rob. Thanks. Shout out to. Man, you, you seen Fowl for Ice again? Shout out to, man, that's my sister, man. Yeah, man. Shout out to her, man. And she Pop, was, she, she make was. moves. Yeah, she, she make was. moves she like, she like was. men. She make moves. She stepped. Like, she one of them ones. Like, for sure, for sure. I tilt my hat to her. No, uh, any sure. female, it's it's a harder industry for them. Man. It's a harder. To get, yeah, get like, they don't get respected. Get exactly. Yeah. She be showing love. She brings it together. What's up with you? Definitely a big, big playmaker. Like in every aspect. Don't get it fucked up. Yeah. For sure, for sure. She wanted the one. Yeah. 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 You said it on. Um, you was able to grab a pair of the um, G nice. No, no man. I ain't get a get. I ain't get a chance to get a pair, man. Yeah, I seen. I seen it drop. Whenever uh they re-release or drop some more, I, I got I got my uh. You got your ticket. I'm gonna get my hand on it. <laughs> for shit, sure. I'm gonna so, get some. Uh, I like them bitches enough. Sure, that shit just reminded me. Uh, maybe like two or three years ago, I did a release mm-hmm. on Chasing Cash. He did a release with Polo Silk. That was the man who originally did the New Orleans backdrops yeah, at the man. club and he used yeah, to take yeah. pictures. No, it was Reebok. Oh, wow, wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. We about to drop them soldiers. They, Classic they ice blue bottoms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I about to see they really had the bottoms on them bitches. Yeah, man. Some G shit. Facts. Uh, that was a, a monumental moment for me. Just being in 
involved. Seeing my face in foot actions and foot lockers and chaps and right, seeing that ad in Times Square. I used to come these stores. Come on, man. That's used to it. beg and ride my bike to Canal your shoes and shit. <laughs> Big and mob. Right. But, uh, What's up with cash? We gotta go drop another project. We working on that uh, six real soon. We working on that six real soon. We just heard what uh, Drake and 21 did. I said, that's how we turn up on. Mm. I mean, we've been lifing them the last five projects. It's time for us to go stupid this time. All the way left. Chase is heavily conscious. Y'all know this thing. Mm -hmm. He's vegan. <laughs> Not about the bullshit. Zero percent. <laughs> Zero tolerance on me. I'm like his evil twin. <laughs> <laughs> I need him to step on my side. This project. Little Ranch. Need to take it there. You feel me? For sure, for sure. We got the we got the the woke listeners. We got it. Right, right. We got it. And and that's one thing I, I commend and big up to him about because he, he made me step outside of my box. You feel me? I could say that. He made me he made me just not a yes man at all. And that's what I need. That's what I love to keep around me. Like nigga the chin check some shit that you yeah. see. Uh chin check. Or uh, just open a different lane, a different path for a nigga to walk up mm -hmm. with the music, but a different approach. Yeah, it's a whole different approach. I go by this man crib in LA. You got fresh cut vegetables, yeah, fresh cut fruit in the refrigerator. Like you gonna think different. You gonna take your shoes off at the door. We gonna make music. Like <laughs> it's a different, a complete different walk from my norm. Like. But it's worth it. Like every project, like shit was fire. Like it's my man for life. Right. Speaking of when you hopping in the boot, man, just had that wheezy flow. Yeah, I mean, talk to me. What made you hop on so many flows right quick on one song? Right, so like starting off. I just album. wanted you to feel like I just hit him, and it was just like ain't no other way to like big up one of your favorite artists. When you an artist, then right. to just play him, something, uh, something that you grasp from him. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, so you listen to that song, you probably hear like five different Wayne songs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Started all cliche going through the alphabet bitches scheme, exactly. but you know what I'm saying? Exactly. You dive into what, yeah, for sure. Beats. I still mm -hmm. made it me. Like, mm -hmm. you feel me? Like. Still gotta make it true. A lot of niggas get on YouTube, they do a cover or a remake, and they follow the same flow pattern. I which I did. You but it just fit the texture for what I was trying to get accomplished. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'll be feeling like, I don't know, I like starting from scratch. I hit audio hitters up. I was like, I need you on this. Like we don't got nothing. Like we don't got nothing in the air. Like, I need you. He sent that ASAP. I did that and sent that back to him. Same brand. Mm -hmm. Like, it just came so quick. That's the type of beats I be needing. Like, I like shit that's gonna pull something out of me. Like, I've been doing it so long that I just be needing a different approach to it. Right. You feel me? You don't so, feel like you're doubling back on something. Yeah, or just, I don't know. I, I'm not a, a real, studio rap mm -hmm. like I love I don't get me wrong I love it I've had studios I have a studio mm -hmm. but I feel like when you're too accessible to it, your creativity level drop a little bit because you just you got so much access to it like you're not going I be mean, like install myself a little bit so when I step in that bitch I'm like Tasmanian devil in that bitch like for sure for sure all over the place but I don't know Right. That's your outlook on that fuck with it. That makes sense. That's sure. how you attack it. For sure. I like that. Yeah. But yeah. Shit. Yeah, I can't say no more. 
Green, the green eye monster itself, man. You feel me? We going global. Go, you knew that already. Right? Yeah, you know I mean? <laughs> CGP can't go broke. And the most important yeah. part, you cannot go backwards, man. Ever. Can't go back. Okay. You know the drill, man. You know the drill. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, 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 I can't do wrong, I can't do wrong, I can't move wrong, put the team on I get sacrificial for the ones I lean with I get sacrificial for the ones I lean on Getting to it, running this shit up the whole time